I think everybody once upon a time has wanted to destroy a computer and overload it with malware and viruses, right? Yeah, that sounds just about right. That sounds like me myself. Um, so I'm going to show you how to overload a computer with malware and viruses and it won't affect your real computer. So let's go ahead and get started. So you are first going to have to open up uh, Edge or whatever explorer you use then go to VirtualBox now VirtualBox is one of the two um, one of the two VM virtual machine um, programs that you can use I guess you'd call it so I'm on Windows so I'm gonna do Windows host it does support OS or uh, Mac, Mac OS, Linux and Solaris. I never even don't even know what Solaris is. I've already downloaded it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again just to show you how the installation would look. So let's go ahead and wait for that to download. While we're waiting, I'm going to want to open up another page, and then obviously whatever searching you want to use, and then go to the Windows 10 download. Now, this is the real Microsoft download. This is the real Windows 10 download. So we're going to go ahead and download that, and then just uh, run that as well. Then wait for these to get finished. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is going to open up. A few things ready. Yep, that's also finished. They're all okay. Now, we will also need to do this. Um, since I've already done it, uh, you know this won't. Um, this won't. It won't look like this for you since I've already installed it. But um, you know, just follow the installation progress. It's fairly easy, fairly simple. And then yes. Okay. Now with this, you know. This is the Windows 10 setup, except so what we're going to do instead of upgrade it, we're going to create installation media. Of course, it's uh, you know you can uncheck that if you want to change the language, the edition, Windows 10, home, single language, and Windows 10, and whatever the hell that is. Then architecture, you can do a 32-bit operating system, you can do a 64-bit operating system, where you can do both. Just use I just use recommended options because that's how I had it set. And then you are not going to choose flash drive. Do not do flash drives. We want to do an ISO file. And then, uh, as you can see, I already have one, but I'm just going to. You want to replace it, uh, but it'll ask you where you want to save it and then um, just uh, choose the um, choose the um, you know the um, I can't <laughs> I can't think of what I'm trying to say just go through the installation progress it's it's easy now of course we're going to go ahead and close that out okay now since that's done once you have um, once you have um, VirtualBox downloaded, you want to go ahead and uh, start it up. Let's see here. Where did I save it? VirtualBox. Here we go. Don't know why it started up there. Just go ahead and drag it down. Okay. Now, as you can see, Windows 10 is powered off. That's because I've already made a machine. Um, but if you're starting out new, you're just going to choose new over here, and then the name you can choose whatever the name wants you to be. And do Windows 10.2, you know, because it's the second one. Obviously, whatever version of Windows you did, Windows 10 64 bit or 32 bit. Next, uh, whatever memory you have, I recommend putting the memory as a quarter of what you have. So I have 12 gigs, so I did, you know, two, uh, two gigs of RAM, two, 
four, six, eight. No, I guess a quarter. I was, well, I guess a quarter would be three megs, but since I have 12 megs, I just did four, uh, or not 12 megs, but 12 gigabytes of RAM. I just did four, um, four gigabytes. Four gigs. Uh, create a virtual hard disk. Yes. Uh, dynamically allocated. And then you can choose whatever you want the size to be. And then Windows 10.2. Now, before you do that, you're going to want to go to there. Or go to settings. And then go to um, uh, uh, display. Now, as that, you're going to want to choose the Windows ISO. Obviously, there you go. So, Windows.ISO will be your Windows 10. And then start. And then obviously it's going to be laggy. Install. Then you're just going to do this, you know, like uh, like any other Windows 10 install. Um, obviously, you're probably not going to be using this as your main. You know, you're probably not going to be using a virtual machine as your main. You know, your main computer. So I don't have a product key. And then you can choose whatever you want. Uh, obviously Windows 10 Pro and then just finish the setup like you would a regular Windows 10 machine and so let's go ahead and close this out um now to show you um you know I'm just going to go ahead and delete this delete all files if you want to delete it I already have a um, a Windows 10 machine created. Yep. Okay, go ahead and start that up. Press any key. Yep. And then I will go ahead and show you the boot up for a virtual machine Windows 10, which is basically just the same as you know a regular Windows 10 machine. Hmm. It's starting. Well, I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, uh, change that. But then, as you will see, you have that down there. And then just go ahead and send power off to the machine once you're finished using it. Now, I don't know why it did that to me. I'm not sure why it reset it. I guess maybe because I created another one or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this set up again so I have another Windows 10 virtual machine. But um, that's pretty it. Now, I will also show you how to set it up or how to set this up on a... Um, on VMware. VMware is pretty much the same thing in terms of uh, virtual machine. Now, our, like I said, I already have uh, you know, I already have a set up 4 gigs of RAM play virtual machine. Um, I do not show this message again. I do not show this hint again. Okay. I uh, remind me later. VMware and VirtualBox is the same thing as in terms of creating a, uh, or as in terms of using a virtual machine. Um, neither of them cost anything, which is a great thing. So you can, you know, obviously have a free virtual machine. You do not have to buy anything. You don't have to buy the program. Um, you don't have to buy the Windows 10 download. Um, obviously, since it's not a legit Windows 10 download, you know, it's only going to, or, I mean, not since it's not a legit, uh, 
you know, whatever. It's not going to last. You know, it's only going to last for uh, 30 days. This password is incorrect. Try again. Oh, and that suck. Okay, I don't remember my password, but I, again, I can just reset. So, um, that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is how to set up a virtual machine. Uh, fairly simple. If you know what you're doing, and if you want to overload a computer that is virtual and it won't affect a real computer, if you want to infect it with tons of viruses, tons of malware, then just create a virtual machine. And that's how to create a virtual machine. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.